types of reproduction reproduction is of two types asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction first let us learn about asexual reproduction asexual reproduction means the reproduction that takes place without the fusion of sex cells or gametes only one parent is involved in this type of reproduction so asexual reproduction is a process that involves a single parent and no fertilization or gamete formation takes place asexual reproduction is observed in both unicellular and in multicellular organisms first let us see the different modes of asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms binary fission binary means two fission means splitting in this mode of reproduction one parent organism splits into two daughter organisms this type of asexual reproduction is observed in single celled organisms like amoeba bacteria and euglena here we have two unicellular organisms this is amoeba and this is leishmania leishmania causes kala azar disease in humans amoeba has no fixed shape to its body it can change its body shape the fission in amoeba can takes place in any plane because it has no specific shape whereas leishmania splits in a specific direction since it has a specific shape multiple fission multiple fission means splitting into many that means one organism splits into many new organisms certain single celled organisms like plasmodium reproduce by multiple fission next one budding yeast is an unicellular fungus they produce buds on their bodies these buds get separated and grows into an individual organism this mode of reproduction is called budding these are the methods of asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms now let us see the methods of asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms one fragmentation spirogyra is an algae it is a multicellular organism with simple body organization it reproduces by fragmentation in this method of reproduction first the organism breaks into fragments and each fragment grows into a new organism next regeneration certain multicellular animals have an ability to reproduce from their cut body parts for example planaria and hydra if these organisms are cut into pieces each piece can grow into a complete individual this is called regeneration next budding hydra can reproduce by another sexual method of reproduction called budding hydras have regenerative cells in their bodies they use these cells to produce small buds on their bodies these buds grow in size and becomes big they get separated from the parent organism and grows into an individual organism vegetative propagation flower is the reproductive part of the plant whereas stem root branches leaves and buds are vegetative parts of the plant if plants reproduce through their vegetative parts it is called as vegetative propagation cutting layering and grafting are the three major techniques of vegetative propagation sugar canes are grown by stem cuttings roses can be propagated by layering many fruit plants and trees are grown by grafting techniques advantages of vegetative propagation one plants grown through vegetative propagation can flower and fruit sooner than those grown from the seeds two these techniques enable the propagation of seedless plants like bananas oranges roses and jasmine three plants produced through vegetative propagation exhibit genetic similarity to their parent plant ensuring they inherit all of its characteristics next reproduction through leaves in bryophyllum certain buds are produced in the notches of their leaves these buds are called epiphyllous buds when these buds touch the soil they germinate into new plants next spore formation rhizopus a common bread mold reproduces through a process called sporangiospore formation specialized structures known as sporangia develops at the tips of the upright filamentous structures called hyphae inside the sporangia numerous asexual spores called sporangiospores are produced 
as the sporangium matures it eventually ruptures releasing the spores into the surrounding environment these spores can then disperse and germinate under suitable conditions giving rise to new rhizopus fungi this is all about the asexual reproduction in organisms thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the latest updates check the description to find links of other useful videos